Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to share two tips to help keep your Z-Man baits from sliding off of your jig heads. Seems to be a very popular uh, problem with Z-Man baits because of you know that very stretchy material. It can be tough to get these baits to hold on some jig heads that don't have you know very small or sharp barbs on them. So the lure that I have here, this is a four-inch diesel minnow Z in the Houdini color. And then the jig head that I'm going to be demonstrating with is a Saltwater Assassin Pro Elite jig head, both of which we sell on our shop page. So if you are interested in picking some up, just head over to fiststrong.com and you can get you some there. Also, if you are an insider member, you do get up to 20% off the shop page. So be sure to take advantage of that. Now, the two ways that I'm going to show you here, one I'm not too much of a fan of, but it will work. It will get the job done. It's one of the more popular ways of keeping these baits on the hook. And then the second way that I'm going to show you seems to work really well, but there is one downfall that I want to talk about as well. So first off, the first trick is going to be good old fashioned super glue. This is just standard crazy glue. You can pick up a small bottle of this for about two or three bucks. Not very expensive and goes a long way. You wanna make sure you don't use too much. That's a big mistake a lot of people make is that they put too much on the bait and the jig head and, th and then next thing you know, your entire bait, you know, the head of your bait is destroyed because this will eat away at the plastic if you put too much on there. Just a small little dab goes a long way. So to demonstrate this, we're gonna put the lure on our jig head just as we normally would. You want to basically put it on all the way, just like you normally would rig the lure up on the jig head. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And when you do get it up to the barb, one thing I like to do is almost pinch the bait and sort of pull it over the barbs. That will help get that bait onto the barbs of the jig head. Like so, you almost want to act like you're trying to pull that plastic over the head of the actual jig head. And then once you have it close enough to the head where it's not really sliding down on its own, as you can see, it's up there nice and snug. Now you're just going to pull it back a little bit just to expose the back end of the head of the jig head. And that's where you're going to get your uh, super glue or crazy glue here. And again, small amount goes a long way. I'll just put a little dab right between the head of the jig head and the actual plastic itself, like so. Now you're just going to push that up there, keep that plastic pushed up against the jig head, and I like to hold it there for about 30 seconds, uh, maybe up to a minute depending on you know the temperature outside. That can determine how quickly the glue dries, but you want to hold it there for a good amount of time until it's nice and secure. So once you've held it there for long enough, go ahead and let go of the bait. You can do a quick little test there. And as you can see, that bait is not coming off that jig head. You can see it's pretty much welded to that jig head with the super glue. So you shouldn't have any problems with that bait coming off of that jig head when you use that crazy glue. Now, another tip, I know some people get a little uh, you know, discouraged about the scent that the super glue puts off. It is a pretty strong scent. What you can do is just get yourself some type of, you know, scent that you would use on your lures. This is our uh, Dr. Juice. This is an exclusive saltwater slam scent that we have with Dr. Juice. And you can basically mask that scent of the super glue with some scent like this. And we do also sell this on our shop page if you are interested in picking up some of that. But that is all it takes to use a super glue, you know. Put your lure on the jig head like you normally would, slide it back just a little bit, put a small dab of super glue in between the plastic and the head of the jig head, push it up there, hold it for about 30, sec uh, 30 seconds to a minute, and then you should be good to go. Now the next trick to help keep your Z-Man baits up on your jig head, keep them from sliding off, is to get yourself a spare hook, whether it be a weedless, you know, wide gap hook or another jig head you might have. Make sure your bait is rigged up on the jig head as you normally would rig it up. Make sure it's pushed up all the way to the head of the jig head. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take the hook, the spare hook, you're going to actually grab the plastic at the top of the head of your Z-Man plastic and you're going to pull that plastic 
over the eye of the jig head, like so. And then you're going to remove that hook. Make sure you don't pull it off of the eye of the jig head there. And then once that plastic's up over that eye, as you can see there, it's basically holding that lure now by using the eye of the jig head. And the only downfall to this is that, you know, if you have to put a new bait on, you do have to cut your line and then put a new bait on and then retie the jig head on there. But that's the nice thing about Z-Man baits is that they last a while. As long as puffer fish don't get to them, you really shouldn't have to switch them out much. Or if that plastic happens to break, if it gets cut by something, you may have an issue there. And as you can see here, you know, that lure is not going anywhere, snaps right back into place. You can see it's still up on the head of that jig head. And then one more thing about using this method, it really only works on jig heads that have the eye of the jig head either up on the top of the jig head or, you know, slightly at an angle. If the eye of the jig head is, you know, straight off the nose, you could have some issues there. You know, the plastic may slide down and then become useless at that point. So make sure you're using jig heads that have an eye on the top or slightly at an angle, such as this Saltwater Assassin Pro Elite jig head, which has the eye, you know, towards the top of the jig head, or, you know, such as a Z-Man Trout Eye jig heads or the Redfish Eye jig heads, as you can see, the eye is up on the top there. So hopefully this tip can help you out if you are having some issues with your Z-Man baits coming off of the jig heads or sliding away from the head of the jig head can be a pain you know the more time you spend messing with lures and having to readjust things the less time you have your lure in the water so if you need help actually finding fish i highly suggest checking out our salt strong insider club where we guarantee you'll start catching more fish in less time and also keep in mind if you are interested in some of the products that i showed in this video we do carry them on our shop page at fishstrong.com and our insider members you do get up to 20 percent off so be sure to take advantage of that if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, I'd like to know any additional tips or feedback you may have when it comes to keeping your Z-Man baits up on your jig head. So definitely let us know down below. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.